Former presidential candidate Anis Baswedan has secured the backing of leaders from Indonesia's largest party in parliament, sources say, in a major boost for his chances at the local government elections in November. According to party insiders, the Jakarta branch of the Indonesian Democratic Party of Struggle PDIP has proposed a feuding of Mr. Enis, who is not affiliated to any party. As the candidate for Jakarta governor in the election on November 27, it has also put forward its newly recruited cadre, former Armed Forces General Endika Pagesa, 59, as a potential running mate for Mr. Enis. 55. Meanwhile, the party's executive committee has suggested MP Adisatria Suryo Solisto, 50, as Mr. Enis' running mate, insiders told The Straits Times. There were efforts to stifle Enis from getting a ticket for the Jakarta election. But polls show his chances are high and support for him kept coming, a party insider said on condition of anonymity. PDIP, which is helmed by Ms. Megawati Sokhanaputri, has yet to officially announce who it will field for the Jakarta gubernatorial election. But backing Mr. Ennis could again bring it head to head with its rival Jarindra, led by President elect Prabowo Sabianto and his ally, President Joko Widodo, popularly known as Jokowi. Indonesia in February held legislative and presidential elections with PDIP garnering the largest chunk of the votes, followed by seven other parties that made the cut to be represented in Parliament for five years from October 2024. Defence Minister Prabowo, backed by President Widodo, won the presidential election after beating his two rivals, Mr Enis and Mr Gonja Pranowo of PDIP. In the Jakarta race in November, Mr Enis, will likely take on Mr. Ridwan Kamil, who is backed by Jarindra and Mr. Widodo. The outgoing president is considering putting forward his younger son, K. Sang Pangarip, as Mr. Ridwan's running mate. Jarindra, however, is keen to have Mr. Budisatrio Jaiwandono, Mr. Prabowo's nephew, as Mr. Ridwan's running mate. The Jakarta polls are the highlight of Indonesia's five yearly local elections. On November 27, about 200 million will cast their votes for the governors of 37 provinces, including Jakarta, mayors of 93 cities and regions of 415 regencies. The Jakarta governor position is widely considered a stepping stone for anyone aspiring to be Indonesia's next president. Whoever occupies the gubernatorial seat enjoys a high profile with nationwide attention and national media coverage. Opinion polls conducted in early May for the upcoming Jakarta race showed Mr. Ennis, who was Jakarta governor from 2017 to 2022, had 30.3% support, while his predecessor Basuki Chihoje Panama had 19.5%, and Mr. Ridwan, a former West Java governor, garnered 15.8%. PDIP insiders, however, told ST that Mr. Basuki, who was embroiled in blasphemy charges during the 2017 Jakarta gubernatorial election, will be assigned to run for the North Sumatra Provincial Governor post. Meanwhile, Mr. Ennis electability figures rose in June after some senior PDIP figures publicly expressed their support for him, party insiders told Saint. On June 12, the head of PDIP's faction in Parliament. Mr. Atat Adianto told reporters that a key consideration in picking a candidate is their chances of winning and whether a candidate's ideology clashes with that of the party. He is a person who holds the red and white flag at his heart dearly. Mr. Atat said, describing Mr. Eni's nationalist quality, using the country's national flag as a metaphor. Mr. Eni's support base has traditionally come from the pious Muslim population. While PDIP relies on nationalist voters, the Islamic-leaning National Awakening Party is backing him for the Jakarta race, 
while further support could come from the National Democrat Party, which also backed Mr. Eni's presidential ticket. Political analyst Joyody Hanen noted that in the February presidential election, 41% of voters residing in Jakarta supported Mr. Enis, while 17% of them voted for PDIPS Mr. Gonja. Their combined vote share would exceed the majority. Coalescing with PDIP would be a complementary move, he said.